Okay. Okay. Uh huh. We young We back, y'all. It's eight o'clock. It's the late show. Turn up. Hey, y'all, like, share, comment, all it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't heard this my new single. Well, one of my newest singles, Layover in Houston, man. Real top. Yeah. Cool crew to zoo. Y'all know that. Funny how it's cool, don't panic, it's trending. Cause we were screaming cool before Floyd started contending. Everybody panic as a result of the new pandemic. But when it's over, I see the future record spinning. They'll sing mask off to celebrate death to faces you make from bad calls. If 2020 was alcohol, it'd be mad, dog. But I still toast to being rich deep in my bag, dog. I don't mean to let you hey, go. When you turn nothing to something, it's overwhelming the shelter from all the hate they come with. See where I'm from, success and what make them drunk with the dumb shit. Them niggas jack your land, turn back around and smash your pumpkin. Woo. Cool. But they don't get it, they call a franchise a ticket Like they forgot to click it, I'm making them all a witness They speak on me from a distance, I walk in and I hear crickets Now they all wanna kick it like Jordan Olympic Sixes I'm on their heads at Beijing, narcoleptic inception I still appeal while they daydream Give me a show, they wave screen And shout colors like the officials do for a weight team So proactive like face cream, I rock it with my space team The coolest crew ever to live, send us the check of the bill See me and I know you spot my dolls, Cruella DeVille They never tell us to chill, cause that's an I rhetoric overstepping competitive steel Dripping, I'm dressing to kill Set at the table, made San Diego my second throne Last year a nigga drove 30 hours to El Cajon Spent every dime I had on packs, hoping to put me on Came back ecstatic, but the package never made it home That was my biggest loss, but that made me a bigger boss Figured I'd end up like Ricky Ross since I paid the cost Now I sip boss from a double cup and design a cloth And tell my brothers, order whatever, we'll make it back tomorrow Here for the long haul, I bet I'm still here when it's over DM blue check is Instagram was knowing they'll never open. I just need receipts that I wrote them. Cause when the doors reopen, I'm giving shoulders cold as polars and snow with Coca Cola. Yeah, I'm on the highs like I'm never sober. Know there's a guy cause I'm the guy whose blessings running over. I continue coming. Yeah, continue holding boulders. I won't dip till I'm done with every chip on my fucking shoulder. Nigga. Yeah. It's cool for real, nigga. <laughs> Don't panic. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> turn me up. Yeah, okay, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all tuned in to the Fox Game Chronicles. And we're back for the late show. And we got Franchise in the Cave, man. Yeah, Franchise of the Great Cool Crew to Zoo, man. Y'all know what's up. It's good to have you here. Yeah, it's good to be here. You know what? I actually think that I had scheduled you for an interview, mm -hmm. like earlier. But I don't know what happened. Yeah, it was a while back. It was a while back. You hit me and told me, uh, you know, you wanted to give me up because you told me a king had told you about it. Right, right. Shout out my dog, King. Shout out to the king. Bro mentioned me and everything he do, and that's why I love bro to the death man. That's my yeah. brother, man. He get It don't matter where he is, he going to say, hey, go check out Franchise. You right, know what I'm saying? Because he right. this and he did. Yeah, that's my dog. I appreciate my brother to the, to the up, you know what I'm saying, up most of the Man, place. shout out to the King, my dog, man. Yeah. King put me on to several guests that I've had on mm -hmm. the show. So, big shout out to him. And he's doing big things. So. Oh, yeah. It's plenty of guys. It's plenty of guys in the city that's hard. You know what I'm saying? I can't really name everybody, but just to name a few, you know what I'm saying? Of course, the cool crew. I got two brothers, Draco, Cool Jazz, of course. Those two guys, you, you know what I'm saying? You check out our YouTube, y'all see them, y'all see our music, the way we're putting out. Crew Intentions finna drop soon. That's our group mixtape we got coming out, by the way, you know. Uh, of course, Akeem Ali, Tank, uh, Cadillac Pack. We got my boy, Tevin Lynn Street, Profit Life. We got so many guys out here that's talented, bro. Like, so many. Trey Solo, some young guys. Trey Solo. It's, it's a lot of guys. Amaze, of course. Kenyon, mm -hmm. it's, I can't, I can't. The list I'm go need, on, I'm man. Need, so many. I'm gonna need you to send me that list, man. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get it. Up. <laughs> you'll, you'll be booked up for the rest of the send year, me my son. Because I'm, that list. I'm telling, you, I'm such a, I'm such a <laughs> critic, man. They, it's so many guys that send me music, you know. And hey, bro, what you think about this? What you think about that? First, and you know, I'm telling you know, 
I don't I don't really dig it. I don't like it. You feel me? Like re rap. You got a sound, but you probably need to re rap or music ain't what you should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be real with your people at the end of the day. It's guys out here that's rapping that should not be rapping. Should not be making music and they got friends that gas them up when they know they're not good. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm one of the realists. You send me a DM inbox and of course I charge for features, I got to. Like that's what it is. But mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if I went to school with you, you know, I show a little love, or if I know you, you know, you, I call you like associate of mine, a friend of mine. Yeah, I show some love, but if you're not gonna be, I mean, if you're not really in this, and you really shouldn't have no business in the music industry, nothing like that. Nah, I'm gonna tell you straight up, like, nah, that's not it, bro. That's not it. Go some, go another route with, you know. And that ain't me being, that ain't me being hard on you or nothing like that, or critiquing you or saying I'm better than you, I'm better than the next man. It's just being real. Okay. Some people need to hear that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, our, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you from Jackson? I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. Vern Dish, to, right. to be exact. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I grew up in Vern Dish. I went to Walton Elementary School. You know what I'm saying? All the real hood niggas went to Walton Elementary School. And right. guess what they did, though? They sung in the choir. <laughs> Every hood nigga <laughs> sung in the choir at Walton, man. Like, that's really what's going on out here. Like, Walton. I'm from Vern Dish. You know what I'm saying? Jackson, Mississippi. Vern grew up here. Went to Chestine, Murrah. Left Murrah, went to Bailey, played basketball, you know, did all that. I was uh, all state, all metro basketball, you know. I actually, I pursued basketball as long as I could, you really? know. And all my friends used to say, bruh, drop the ball, pick up the mic. Nah, I'm going to go to the league. I'm going to go overseas, you know what I'm saying? I had those dreams. But this right here, this was just fluent. I'm talking about at the lunch table. They could have a pencil on the desk, yeah. or a pencil on the table, and I was just... It just come off the top. It was just like it was natural for me, you know. And I finally just said, you know what, I'm gonna do this full time. And everybody was just locked in with me after that. I got the support of a lot of people in the city, so I'm gonna try to keep it going as long as I can. But I'm gonna take that back. I'm 28 right now. Yeah. If I ain't took out by 30, it's over. That's so it. You've been doing it by how long now? I just started this year in January. Really? I just started in January. Yeah. I just started. I put my first uh video, my first visual out. 7.62 freestyle, freestyle. That was my first one. Shout out my boy Global Knox on that. That's my videographer. Shout out. Yeah, Global Knox, uh, Slick, Run 21, and of course there's some videographers in Cali that y'all don't know about, but I'm just speaking on the ones from here yeah, and yeah. But yeah, I did my first uh, project, I mean my first visual. That was March. Yeah, March sometime. And the feedback I got from that was crazy. Like everybody was tagging Lucci and Telling you, you know what I'm saying, bro, keep going, keep yeah, going. Yeah. And I pursued it, and you know, I kept going, and I like the feedback I've been getting so far. So I'm gonna try to keep going as long as I can for the next two years. And if that don't fly in 30, by the time I'm 30, I'm done with it. I'm sorry. That, is, that just is what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, when did the, this cool crew form? When oh, cool crew time? has been here for years now. Because my brother, my older brother, Cool Jazz, he was the one who started Cool Crew, you know what I'm saying? And Crew is spelled C-R-U-E mm -hmm. from the word a crew, you know what I'm saying? So we kind of branched together. We kind of, you know, once he said it, it was stamped, you know what I'm saying? We Cool Crew because he called himself Cool Jazz because he literally the coolest nigga on the planet. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. If y'all check out videos out on YouTube or whatever, his whole swag, his feng shui, all that is so cool, bro. Like, that's just what it is. It's Cool Jazz. Then it's Franchise and Draco, you know what I'm saying? All is just together. We grew up together. Draco, our little cousin, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's really a family deal. Then we had my little brother CK that was with us at first, but he went to the Army. Okay. So he chose a different route, but, you know, he's still a cool crew. Mm -hmm. uh, you know? And that's why we we kind of enforced the crew, the whole thing, because right. it ain't just cool crew. Like, crew is you. Like, whoever you are, whoever your clique is. Mm -hmm. You, bro, Fox K, this, this your crew. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's what it is. That's how, that's how that's how we gotta we gotta like let everybody understand that this ain't us the crew like the crew is whoever is together you know what I'm saying y'all your group the people you want to be together that's what that is. Well, tell me about some of the projects that you all have. Okay. As the as a cool group. Okay, as a cool crew. Okay. Of course, we have plenty of visuals on YouTube. You know, you can just go to YouTube and search "cool crew" spelled C R U E C O O L. You know what I'm saying? C O O L C R U E crew. So, you type in, you'll see we have visuals after visuals after visuals. And right now, we're working on our first group mixtape called Crew okay. Intentions. 
you know. Okay. And every track is done, every track is finished, every track is mastered, all that. We really trying to shoot a video to each and every song on there. All of them, all of them really our own way because you got cool jazz. He's super cool with it. He's super smooth with it. You got Draco. <laughs> Draco is himself. Like, he is the epitome of he going to be him, whatever he is. You know, Draco will get up and be a rock star one day. One day he rapping and smooth. He cool. And that's just how he is. Whatever Draco feeling, that's how he going to rap. And me, you got franchise. I'm just all around. You know, I might sing a song. Yeah. I might rap a song or harmonize. Like, I'm really just all around. Whenever they call me. They might call me for a hook. They might not even call me for a verse. Hey, bro, hey, what you think about this? Okay, put this on there. Put that on there. That, that's who I am for the, with the group. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't the leader. It ain't no leader in the group or nothing like that. Jazz is the founder, you know, but ain't no leader in the group. We all one group. Kind of like 4PL for 1017, you know what I'm saying? We not no group like that. We not the Migos, you know, but we cool crew. Like, we individual, but we together. You know what I'm saying? And you all work well together. Oh, yeah, of course. The, the energy is crazy when we're in the booth together, man. It's, it's wild because we, we, you can't really, like, we can, that's where you not judged at all. If you messing up when you rapping or if you messing up when you doing anything, we can come to them and say, hey, bro, no, do this or do that. Even if we disagree, we're like, damn, nigga, that don't sound like that. <laughs> no, nah, it don't sound good. Bro, I think it sound good. Bro, that do not sound good. Right, and right. if it get to a point where we can't agree, We'll vote with everybody in the room. How does it sound to you? How does it sound to you? And if everybody like, it sounds good to me, we're going to go with it. they like, nah, nigga, you need to change that. We're going to change it. That's yeah, just how it is. It's, right. Yeah, we go, we go, you know, we kind of be leaning on each other's opinions and judgment and stuff like that. Cool, cool, mm -hmm. cool. Now, at what point did you decide that you was just going to go ahead and take this series? Well, after I did the 7.62 challenge, everybody was writing me, you know what I'm saying? At first, it just started off as an Instagram video. You know what I'm saying? I dropped a little challenge. It was a 7.62 challenge on Instagram. I dropped it, and then uh, people were telling me, you need to go and drop it as a song. So I added a few more bars to it. I dropped a song. So somebody was like, hey, you need to shoot a video to this. Yeah. You need to get Lucha attention. He ain't going to reach out to you. Go ahead and drop a video to it. That ought to get his attention. You know what I'm saying? So. Shot the video, I hit my boy Global Knox up. He responded ASAP and was like, we can do it tomorrow. And I kind of got butterflies then because I was like, man, I ain't never did this. You know what I'm saying? Do this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, you trying to do this? <laughs> you spontaneous. Nigga, yeah. I can't do that. And he was like, yeah, come on, bro. Just, we're going to hop out. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. We shot about two, three scenes in Vern Dishon Park, Lil Lonnie Park, man. Rest in peace, Lil Lonnie. Rest Shout out Lil Lonnie, man. Yeah. I never got to work with, bro. I, uh, I wasn't. I ain't gonna say I was best friends with bro. I see bro somewhere we'd shake hands and stuff like that. But he was super laid back. Showed love to the city. We was from the same hood. He was next to go. I know for a fact if Lunny was still here right now and he could see the stuff I was putting out right now, we'll be together. We'll be really. Yeah, we'll be doing some amazing things around right the city. Cause I ain't just with the music. I'm trying to give back. You know, mm -hmm. build the hood up and get these kids something to do. You know, they stuck right. in the house right now. Like I. I like to give back to my community. I like to give back to the less fortunate. I like to do stuff like that. That's what type of guy and I am. And that's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Like, really, that really is. So, what are you currently working on now? Right now, I really, a lot of people tell me they want me to do a project, you know. And I think that the visuals and the singles have been kind of giving, giving me more feedback. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I've been doing singles, a lot of singles. And every single I do... I shoot a video to it, hence the bounce back I got coming mm -hmm. up. Not this Saturday, but the next Saturday after that. So that's well, we going to be there. Time. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's good to hear. That's good to hear. But, you know, yeah, I got that coming up. And uh, me and Akeem actually got a few songs. Oh, we got a few in my phone that people don't even know about. Me and him will just go back and forth, rapping the verses to each other over FaceTime. And that nigga say, man. We need to drop this. Or I say, nigga, we need to go and drop yeah. it. He, well, I'm coming back in Mississippi. That man have been to Mississippi four times. Well, we ain't got to go drop it. I, it be me. I ain't can't even say it be him. It be me. I be doing a hundred things at one time. You know, I got a barbershop right here on State Street. It's just me in the barbershop. It ain't, I ain't got no chairs, no beautician, none of that. Mm -hmm. It's called Crew Cuts. 50, 56 North State Street. Book online, booksy.com. Crew Cuts. 
franchise. Look for me. I got you. But yeah, I got that on State Street too, and that's where, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not doing the barbering thing, I'm working on my music. If I'm not working on my music, I'm dealing with my dogs. I got a dog kennel too, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, it's so okay. much stuff going on, and I got a son. My son, he, anytime he with me, he getting 150% of my time. Like, you know, he gonna be with me or with my mama or somebody. Like, I'm making sure he's straight spoiling him, making him fatter and stuff like that. Like, that. <laughs> that's the type of stuff I got going on, man. Like, my, my life is in constant rotation, constant movement the whole way. Yeah. Tell me about your creative process. As far as music? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well, that's, you know, I feel like I'm so creative or the way my mind works when it comes to music, like, I got guys that can tell you from the jump, like, I don't know if they on this live right now or what, but they can send me a song and I'll be ready tomorrow. Like, I don't have no set time to, I mean, no set thought process or nothing when it comes to the music. Mm -hmm. If it's not there, it's not there. And I tell my guys all the time, like, we, me and my brothers, we done fell out before in the studio because I wasn't ready. You know, like, they'll, they'll have a whole song together and they're like, franchise, your verse coming, you got to record. I get in there and waste a studio session because I'm not ready. Like, that's how it is. My mind has to be, like, completely ready for a verse. And I can pick, I guess I can pick a song, a vibe, a beat, and I can say like, okay, who can I hear on this beat? You know what I'm saying? What art, what mainstream artists can I hear on this? Oh, okay, what what sound do I hear on this? And I go with that. And once I hear that, I'm like, okay, let's add franchise to that. So you know what I'm saying? I can, okay, little baby on this, bam, okay, put some franchise with it. You don't want to sound just like baby, so that I do that. Oh, Kevin Gates on this, let's sound like Kevin Gates, but add some franchise to it. Put that on top of it. How would you do this? Yeah, that's what type of that's what that's what really kind of keep me going steady on it and then it's always the wordplay too like I try to I well I used to be heavy on the wordplay big words and stuff like that but a lot of people came to me and was telling me like hey nigga you gotta dumb it down like, <laughs> <laughs> they nigga, don't know what you're talking yeah, about yeah like nigga we know you went to school bro like that's that's you got to bring that down nigga like I and so now my music I ain't gonna say it's watered down but I have my track like lay over in Houston I have I have my bars on there you know I had those type of things but then I got the, the real life bars that I spit too, you know what I'm saying? I spit super bars to where they like, okay, I can feel that. I relate to that, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what I'm kind of working on now, trying to balance that, balance that in the music side. But yeah, that's where the creativity comes from. Now, they over in Houston, tell me why the title, what's the, what's the, what's the story behind that title? Well, I was actually headed to California, and my guy, Cali Cal, King Cali Cal, shout out Cali Cal, by the way, and Yo Life Studios, that's my guy. He he was one of the first ones, we were roommates uh, in college. And he always used to be one of the ones telling me to pick up a mic and everything, you know, he played the piano and all that stuff. So he was real musically inclined. Right. And then kind of everything. So he used to always tell me that. But anyway, he moved to Houston and they had got a studio out there. And they was always posting on Instagram, like, you know, well, we fixing on the studio. We got the studio coming, you know. Uh, we finna get this fixed, we finna get that fixed. And just so happened, right before my flight, they had a grand opening for the studio. Yeah. And it's called Kingdom Studio. Shout out Kingdom Studio. That's where I shot. I mean, that's where I recorded Layover in Houston at, in Houston. So I knew that's where it was going. Yeah. So I was like, uh, I hit Kyle up, hit hit uh, hit my guys up, D Hutch, all those guys over there in the booth. And I was like, man, I'm gonna stop by, y'all boy. I got like probably about three hours in Houston, four hours in Houston. Y'all boys got a time, got time for a session. And they was like, yeah, bet. So right then and there, I went to YouTube, listening to beats and stuff. And I was like, man, I'm gonna drop this. And I was just riding as fast as I could to get, you know, before I could get to the studio. And I landed there, dropped layover in Houston, sent it to everybody. And they was like, boy, this is crazy. When I dropped it, and they was like, boy, you, I don't know what you was thinking about on that flight, but you, you killed this, you know, so. I dropped it, then I did the verbal soliloquy thing with those guys. Yes, Shout out those guys, verbal man. intercourse. How did you even end up linking up? They had some great ones. I know Savvy was on mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. uh, Young Jules was on there, man. We did that like, session. All of us did that session at the same, the same day. How did that even come to? The, how did that even, you even Well, those guys, uh, Nick Walker, Jordan Red, all those guys back then, uh, my guy Valen Crime, all those guys, they were... 
they already had it going on, you know. Once I saw it, I was like, man, this could be big. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this is this is this is gonna be something that's really tough in the city. If we can get enough people behind it, like y'all boys could really make something happen, like for real. And when I heard what they were doing, or when I saw what they were doing, Jordan Red hit me up. That's the guy, one of the you know one of the owners or the, the founders of it and everything. Mm -hmm. He hit me. He was like, bro, when are you coming in here? And I was like, man, it's whatever, bro. And he gave me a date, but the date I had actually been in Cali that time. So he was like, when you come back, you know, we set the date up and I came back and all those guys were in there. We were me, Savvy, we had Dono Vegas in there. We had uh, Young Jewels and shout out Dono Vegas, man. I, I can't believe I missed that name. Hey, shout out Big Bro, that's the OG in the game. Like that's that's my guy there. Has he been on, he been on the show yet? Yeah. He is coming actually season two, but the Fox Cave, the Fox Cave Chronicles will be a part of his, um, Unplugged event mm -hmm. at Johnny C. Oh yeah, that's press for that. That's super talent right there, bro. Bro is really he is really a done out here in this and he really like led the game for a minute. I remember Vegas was coming to murder him and Weezy F. K Weezy, they'll come up to work, uh, to murder and rap against the guys out there. Like if you couldn't rap or if you said you could rap, they was calling niggas out. Oh, you rap. Where y'all rappers at? Like, them niggas was really, it was like a group of them niggas from Jim Hill or whatever, you know, out west. Them niggas pull up the mirror and, hey, where y'all rap niggas at? And, hey, you say you can rap. They pulled me out the crowd one day and, let's hear it. And it, it kind of shook me because I'm like, I'm like 19th grade, probably ninth grade. Yeah. And I'm rapping. They were like, yeah, you hard, but, uh, this what we put down. And it was like, oh, shit, I was like, yeah, I might not want to rap then, you know? <laughs> like, these niggas hard. Like, I might not want to. Yeah. Now, yeah. That's really how it was. But yeah, that's, it's a lot of, like, that dude there, man, he, he really, he really, he don't understand the type of mark he got on the game or what type of niggas look what. Well, I'm pretty sure he understand. That nigga know that. Don Vegas definitely know that, bro. Shout out, shout out Donald Vegas. Shout out to OG, man, for real. Who are some of the artists you've worked with here? Uh, I work with Lil Tank. I'm not sure if you know uh, Lil Tank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we got a couple songs together. Me and bro locked in in the booth one night and just went crazy. Like, that, that was wild. Yeah. Me and him, uh, I got my boy Trey Forever. T. Who, man, we just did something. He got something coming out. I don't know if you, I don't know if you heard of Trey Forever, man. I'm going to put you on. He real lit. Mm. Yeah, got his music going. I'm going to send you that, too. My boy Kenyon, he, he lit. Young boy Hulk is what we called him back in the old oh, school days. Man. You know, young boy Hulk. <laughs> Dig me E N T. Those are my guys. Yeah. Bro. Of course, man. Of course, I've done that with uh with Ken Young, man. I got song with some young guys. Trey Solo. Those some young cats out here. It's crazy because there's three guys that'll do one verse. Like, yeah, you won't even be. You'll be like, man, how y'all get all this stacked up? Them dudes really like that, bro. It's three guys, bro. Three brothers. They some young cats, man, mm -hmm. and they sing, and they really like. They got a little wave going, so I, you know, I did something with them, and of course, like I said, it came. Me and Vegas got something cooking up. Okay. I sent them something, so we got something going on. Uh, I've done done trip. You know, that's really like the most mainstream. I'd have been with done trip on a song mm -hmm. on YouTube. I was supposed to lock in with a couple other guys, but I kind of been pulling my hand in and out, yeah. so I'm trying to see. So yeah, it's. It's not much that I've done in the city, but oh, uh, my guy Amaze, man, of course. Amaze, we did some. Uh, yeah, you ain't heard of Amaze, hey? Yeah, I gotta put you. I gotta put you on to him. See, I got a whole list of guys, yeah, man. So I many guys, I, I got to put them out there. I'm telling you, I'm gonna send them to you because they really lit like that. I got a chick out in Texas. I did something we called her name Narcy, and she she do singing and it's kind of like a hip hop singing type of vibe. She lit. She really, we got a couple tracks together, all that stuff. I got, it's a, it's a few people that'll hit me up and say they want to do something, but you know, I have to know when we're going to do it. Me and Mohead Mike did some track. Oh, we got a crazy track, too. Me and Mohead Mike got something to drop, and that, that's wild. People going people gonna to go crazy over there. It play, it play in Sweet Spot sometimes, so you know what I'm saying? You got to go to Sweet Spot to hear that. I just, I just really leaked something. Y'all ain't know that. So Look I'm at that. I'm going to put on the box cave. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't have leaking stuff out, yeah, man. Yeah, one time, yeah. one time, one time. Okay. Real. So, are you a versatile artist or are you just strictly? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I do. I can do whatever, you know. Gospel, like rap, blues, R&B. It don't matter. Whatever it is. If you bring it my way, 
I, if I can't get it done, I'm gonna get it done at the end of the day. Cause I'm gonna see what I'm doing wrong, and I'm gonna fix that. And that's that. That's gonna it's gonna max out at the end of the day. I'm gonna have it done. So yeah, I, I'm I'm probably one of the most versatile artists that I know. Like you can't, it ain't a beat, or it ain't a song, or it ain't a collab you can put me with that I that I have a hard time with. So it won't really matter like what it is. And I ain't gonna sound the same on each song. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I don't have one sound. Mm -hmm. I got so many different ways to rap, so many flows, so many harmonies I can throw in, like all this stuff, man. It does, I, just throw it to me. I'll make sure I catch it and do my do my thing with it. Yeah. Has it been easy or hard here with your music career? Uh, I can't say it's been hard and I can't say it's been easy either. This is this is what I'm gonna say. And I, I say this with, you know what I'm saying, with everything that I, I mean, every time I talk to my brother, I talk to anybody, Atlanta, let's use that. Atlanta is so successful in the music industry because all of them come back together and put people on, you know what I'm saying? Everybody uplift each other. Anybody from Atlanta drops something, they uplifting each other, they getting them together and they putting them out there, you know what I'm saying? So that's the hardest part. I hear it's like a competition every single time. It don't matter what it is. It don't matter what you do, how you do it, it's a competition. Mm. And that's what make it bad and that's what make it hard for us, you know what I'm saying? See, if we all came together like Atlanta did, or like Memphis did, or like New York did, you know what I'm saying? West Coast, all those guys, they, they all come together and they, they push those guys, you know what I'm saying? If we see somebody that's got a chance to go or got a chance to do something, the first thing somebody gonna holler out, well, he ain't harder than my guy over here, or he ain't better than my nigga over here, you know what I'm saying? I got a nigga over here that'll kill this nigga. Y'all listening to him, y'all should be listening to this. It ain't, it ain't got to be that. And that's what kind of bring us down all the time. It's like crowds in the bucket. Like, I can't. I love my city to death. I love my city to death, but the thing with these guys out here is so much like animosity or aggression, so much envy. It don't matter what it is, it don't matter what you're doing, they always right, like turning their nose up to you if you got a little wave mm -hmm. or something. Or, oh, he got this or he got that. Oh, yeah, he don't need that. I'm going to take that. Or, you know what I'm saying? My boy take that. My boy had this and that. That's what, that's what get a lot of this stuff going, man, so much. And popularity. You got mm -hmm. politics. There's so much going on. If you don't know the nigga who in charge, it's rough on you. And I say that to a lot of guys out here that's, that's doing the music. A lot of guys ask me all the time, like, bro, what you doing is different or what you doing is, is helping you get this way or that way. I tell them all the time, man, guys, listen, it's tough because I know everybody. You know what I'm saying? Squirrel World TV, I grew up with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up with those guys. All these DJs, I be on the scene. Like, I know I know these niggas. So, they gonna, I can go up to them and be like, hey, bro, you feel like doing this? You feel like doing it? Yeah, I got you, bro. They might not get right on it, but they'll get to it eventually. You feel me? And that's a major thing. If you don't know nobody and you just out here trying to do it, no matter if you sound good, you can be the best rapper in Jackson. But if you don't know nobody, you ain't going to make it. That's, that's the bad part about my scene. That's the bad part about it. That's what's tough. That's rough. Man, man, man. I just want us to be great, man. I want yeah, we us can all be. to be great. We can be, but if you notice, like, nobody really made it from Jackson like this. And everybody who did make it from Mississippi, David Banner, Blase, Blase, you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross from Clarkville, you know what I'm saying? Like, those guys, they get on and they claim another state, claim another city, you know what I'm saying? They don't want Jackson or Mississippi behind their name. I don't know why. They don't come back and be like, hey, we finna put y'all on. No, 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 no. We're gonna find this hard nigga out here in North Carolina. We're gonna find this hard nigga out here in Atlanta. He hot right now. Why you can't put your own people on? You know what I'm saying? Because they hot too. And that's a major, I promise you, that's the thing I'm really on. If I ever make it before any of these guys out here make it, it ain't no north side, it ain't no west side, it ain't no vice lords, it ain't no gangsters. None of that going on with me. If you hard nigga, we finna go. You coming with me. That's really what's going on. Like, that's really what I'm on. That's what really what type of nigga I am. Even if you got your own thing going on, I'm going to collab with you. We're going to do something to make sure you get on the scene at the end of the day. So people get some type of awareness of who you are or what you got going on. That's that's my thing. That's my motor. Putting people on. Putting my people on. Feel me? Yeah. What are you doing to further pursue your music career? Well, right now I'm working on my image. Uh... Cause that's a major thing, and I'm trying to. I ain't trying to be the typical diamond teeth, 
tattoo face. I ain't trying to be that guy. You know, I'm me at the end of the day. Only thing I didn't change really is my hair. I got like braids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's the only thing I really didn't change so far. And I've been getting a little eyebrow raise about the hair now. So, <laughs> so that's really, you know, image marketing. My team out there, you know, I got a team of guys in California, and uh, they really kind of pushing us in the West Coast. And shout That's out to awesome, those guys. Man. Shout That's out to those guys, man. Slim, Nate, the whole cool crew team back out west, man, on the West Coast out there in Cali, San Diego. Man, those guys, they, they really putting in a lot of work for us, and I appreciate that to the fullest, man. Those guys, they really pushing us. If, if ever I'm slacking, if I ain't drop nothing and – Jazz dropping some, Drago dropping some, or I'm dropping some and ain't nobody dropping them. They gonna reach out and hey, what you doing, bro? Tap in with us, let us know what's going on. You ain't mm -hmm. saying nothing, you know. And that's what type of that's the type of vibe I like, man. They always make sure we own it. They make sure we we kind of staying persistent and staying, staying, you know what I'm saying, driven, mind driven about the music thing. So that's what I'm trying to do. Keep my keep my head focused on that. Keep my image going and staying consistent because you, you can fall off with this music thing any day. True. You can true. fall off any day. You can decide tomorrow, I don't want to do this no more. Just like anything, but I just try to stay focused on it. You know, I drop a song every now and then or I drop a snippet and I have I send it to my partner just to see if I need to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I send it to 20 people. And if all 20 of them send me a flame emoji or <laughs> send me, hey, then you need to drop this. I'm yeah. dropping it. Then, hey, that's all I need. That's all the drive I need to let me know my homeboys support me or let me know my people support me. That's it. That's all I need. Now, why do you call yourself franchise? Mr. Franchise. That's a crazy story, man. My uh, high school, playing basketball. When I came to Bailey, I met a guy named Myron Boyce. That's my brother, Slugger, RP, bro. Love you to death, my dog. He just passed this year, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I saw that. that I, I didn't know whether I should have touched on it or not. Yeah. I, it was in my mind, but yeah. I didn't know oh, yeah, it's how cool. to say I, anything I mean, about you. One thing about that guy, man, that was, that was my brother. We never fell out, never argued, never did anything. So, you know, I played basketball at Bailey. And when I met Slugger, he told me straight up, like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, bro, you the franchise. You the ticket out of here. You know, he used to tell me that. And I used to always laugh it off, but it, it stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So I started calling myself franchise on the court. So I started, you know what I'm saying, freestyling. And every time I freestyle, I say, yeah, I'm franchise. Franchise this, franchise that. And it stuck with me. So I stopped people from calling me by my regular name. Hey, it's franchise. You know what I'm saying? I'm franchise. And my boy gave me that name. I stuck to it. Stuck with it, and I kept it going like I kept it alive. I'm going to keep it alive for my boy. That's forever. That's for sure, though. I'm going to make sure that that's that. And that's why I kept that name. It started off as a basketball thing because I was supposed to be the one to take off mm -hmm. and be the ticket out of here. But it transitioned to the rap. And I'm still the franchise. I'm still the next best thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still going to stand on it. Anytime you ask me why I'm franchise, I'm the next best thing. That's what's going on. And that's who I am. That's how I feel. If you feel any different, prove me wrong. That's just it. Now, I know you transitioned over into the music, but was that the reason why you put the ball down? Uh, well, no. I just had a lot of bumps in the road with the basketball at the high school. You know what I'm saying? Like coaching egos. And it's a different ball game once you leave from high school to college, you know. And... I actually left college ball and went to the Army first, and I had given up basketball completely. And uh, I went to play for Coach Billups at Tugalo. Shout out Coach Billups, by the way, that's my dog, right. too, you know. We had our head bumps, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog, though. Coach Billups, he uh, he called me on the phone. He asked me, was I still playing ball? I was like, you know, I do a little something here and there. And he asked me to try for him. So I went back, played basketball for Tugalo for a year. And, Things didn't go as planned, you know what I'm saying? So that was when I really decided, like, I ain't going to do the basketball no more. It's over. I'm getting too old for this anyway. You know, I had a son at home. I wasn't really working like that. And I just decided that, look, I play ball. I train kids. I started training. Training in basketball and stuff like that. And after a while, that kind of waved off. I still do a little something. I see a little guy that can play ball and be like, hey, man, work on this, work on this, work on this, you know. But... I put the ball down at the wire because I felt like I was getting too old. You know what I'm saying? It was it was leaving me. The love of the game is still there, but you know the talent and the the, the persistence and all that. It was it just it just left me all together. So yeah, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question about um, 
what do you think about the violence that's going on in hip hop today? Well, I feel like a lot of the violence that's going on in hip hop today is just niggas standing on or not standing on whatever they putting down in their rap. You know what I'm saying? You can't call me out and say, like, even out here in the city, I'm not, I ain't gonna speak on what I'm gonna do to nobody or how this will go or how they go or nothing like that, but you can't sit here and say, you know what I'm saying, these cool, cool niggas, we gonna step on them when we see them and all this and all that, and then I know where you at or I know what's going on. Cause at the end, then it's a life threat, you know what I'm saying? So the King Von situation, it's sad. Bro, it's hard, bro, it's dope. I, I like bro music. I actually hung one of his best friends at Tugula. One of his boys went to Tugula with us. He got the old block chain and all that shit. I'm a nigga Wop. He, he was there, but you know what I'm saying? You can't really speak on a lot of the violence because you don't know the backstory. You know what I'm saying? Both three. You can't speak on it because you don't know. You don't know what's going on. I kind of stay out of a lot of the violence and stuff like that. But the only thing I can say is if you're going to speak on it and mention a nigga name and do all this, what you going to do to this person, this hood, this group? got to stand on it and be ready for the consequences that come with it because that's just what it is. That's what it is at the end of the day because I'm going to stand on mine. If I say something, I'm going to do something to you. See, that's why I ain't going to tell you what I'm going to do to you because then I got to stand on it. So right now, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm on that I'm on their way, man. Don't speak on it if you ain't going to put it down because I'm going to put it down if I say it especially. It's just me. Mm. Do you have the support from your family with your music? Oh, of course, of course, of course. I have the, my mom, sister, nieces, nephews, my son especially. He done been in a couple. He done been in my videos all day. How old is he? Oh, uh, he'll be nine, December 19th. Wow. He'll be nine, yes, indeed. He really, he raps down every lyric. He, If he don't know the lyrics, he going to play it time after time until he learn the lyrics. My mom, sister, we have get-togethers at the house or something. It could just be us. Me, my mom, my sister, brothers. All of us could just be chilling. They playing our music, learning the words. And I try to, you know, I try to enforce that on my friends too, though. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of a bully when it comes to my music and stuff. I just walk in and that they'll be rapping one song by Lil Baby or NBA Young Boy, and I'll holler, You know this song about me, you know this song about us. Hey, play that new cool group, play that new franchise, and y'all better rap every word just like this. You know, like we really, <laughs> that's, that's just how I am. That's just, uh, hey, you gonna support them? You don't know these niggas. You know us. You grew up with us. You watched us. You gotta know every word we put down. That's just what it is, and that's how I am, man. <laughs> that's just how I am. Now, with, now with you having a nine-year-old son, um, what role does that play when you're writing music? You know what I'm saying? These lyrics. Okay, well... Honestly, I keep it right with my son. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I don't let him curse. I don't believe in it. I don't let him say nigga. I don't believe in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't let him do all that. You know, I, I can't control what he do on the other side of his family, his mom and stuff like that, which I'm not I'm not knocking it either, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But, you know, on my side, um, from my perspective, I don't let him do that type of stuff. He ain't gonna do that in front of me. So, he know, like, it's to a point I could play a song with a thousand cuss words in it. He gonna blank every one of them out. I don't even let him slip up and say the beginning of the word. Like, I don't play like that. Like, my, especially when it, any kids. That go for my nieces, nephews, anything like that. My my friends who got kids, I'm on them the same way. Right. Like, and I know my music, you know, I know my music might say this or say that, but do as I say, don't do as I do. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to do what I do. You don't do as I say. We ain't going to play like that. Tell me about Deep Blue. Deep Blue, okay. So... That song was speaking on a man's perspective. You know what I'm saying? You never gonna hear that side from a man. You know what I'm saying? We'll we we'll, we'll speak that side to our boys. You know what I'm saying? We we'll, we we'll tell our homeboys, yeah, I'm wrong for this. I, I did this. I did it. I messed up and did this. I messed. Up. I know that, bro. That's the that deep blue is the epitome of the conversation with your homeboys. But it's with your real homeboys who gonna tell you, bro. You know you messed up with that chick, bro. You know, you shouldn't have been doing this, bro. You know, you got to do this. You got to work on it. You did this. So you can't blame her for doing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where all that comes from. I take the blame. You put the blame on me. All of that stuff. That, that's that's real heartfelt. Like, that's real. My, my rap is my life. Like, <laughs> all this stuff. That's stuff that I go through. Being with a chick, you know, messing over her, still showing her the pretty side, but still doing stuff. On the back side, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That stuff is really, that's, that's real deal like that. And, and 
A hundred percent of the men could, couldn't vouch for that. Bro, up here in the corner back here in the bar can vouch for that. Like, he done had his share of chicks he done messed over, you know what I'm saying? But niggas don't usually own up to that. Niggas don't usually own up to their actions, own up to their feelings and stuff like that. That's what Deep Blue is about, owning up to your feelings and your actions. That's what that's about. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about the video shoot coming up. Okay, so. And how can we be? A, how can people be a part of? It? Okay, bounce back. Bounce back is like a two and a half minute song. It's about you know what I'm saying. You take losses out here. You can you can build it all up to lose it all, but you have to keep that mentality to bounce back. You know what I'm saying. You got to stay focused, stay motivated. You know what I'm saying. Stay driven to go ahead and come on, get your goal accomplished. Get out of the compass. That's what bounce back is about. Bringing everything, you know, fighting through the trials, fighting through the tribulations, everything you got going on, and bringing it, you know what I'm saying, bringing, it, bringing your dream into life at the mm -hmm. end of the day, you know what I'm saying. And uh, being a part of it, I just want people to support me, you know, buy a right. crew shirt. Right. Buy a crew shirt, $25. Y'all spending $125 on fish plates, you know what I'm saying, $120 fish plates, y'all can buy a $25 right. crew shirt. Right. Even if you don't come to the video shoot, just support me in some mm -hmm. type of way. I support you. If you need it, you know what I'm saying? Not, if you, not even if you need it. You know, I'm that type of guy. I can't support everybody. I can't do that. Right. But if I can get my hand in there and help you in some type of way, I will. So I expect the same from you. You know what I'm saying? I want the city to come out. Everybody that can come out and be a part of the video show. Right. I love it. I love it. All these guys that shake my hand when we at the clubs and party spots and all this and all that. Yeah, come on. Come vibe with me. I don't care who you got a problem with when you get out there. You leave that at the crib, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, this for me, you support me at the end of the day. I don't care about the other niggas you got going on. Y'all handle that all that business, what y'all got going on after the video right. shoot. Right. Probably about an hour after the video yeah. shoot, too. Let me go and get to the crib with my family. You know what I'm saying? Let me get yeah. to my little boy and stuff. Like, yeah. That's just what it is. But, yeah. Please do. Like, if y'all do, not this Saturday coming up. Next Saturday, bounce back video shoot. Y'all come out, support. I'm gonna drop the location. I'm gonna have all that on Facebook. I'm gonna have everything set in stone. I'm gonna try to get the shirts. I'm gonna get the orders out by Friday. I'm gonna max them out by this Friday. And I'm gonna have them here by Tuesday, Wednesday, or something. They'll be here in time for the video shoot, more than likely. So y'all just make sure y'all tap in with me, support me. Just come, come, you know, show your boy some love. That's all I ask for. Well, I'm gonna buy a shirt. Oh yeah, like I said, that's love. Me and my crew pump. That's love. That's love. Get your crew to get in on the shirts too, man. Y'all whole crew. Y'all come and get y'all a shirt, man. Y'all, y'all just you know, it's twenty five dollars, man. You know they they nice fitting. You see the logo. This this just the logo right. Now. This one of the logos we got, man. You know what I'm saying? This just what we starting with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, y'all just keep on, man, supporting and pushing me on, bro. Keeping me going forward. That's all I ask, and I appreciate the love. I appreciate right. you for having me too. No problem at all. What can we look forward to from you? Um, much more music. Uh, being on the scene a lot more. I'm gonna try to be on the scene a lot more and everything like that. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to, you know, what I'm saying, get everything together to where y'all can, y'all see a lot more franchise on the map. You know, I, I brought myself on yeah, with girl. the seven point six two. And I'm trying to get my guys on now. Now I'm trying to get people familiar with the cool crew all together. You know what I'm saying? So. Just look forward to seeing more cool crew content and more franchise content coming out, and me being more played in the clubs yeah. and being on being on the scene on people's Facebooks and Instagram, social medias all around, man. Just look forward to seeing more of me, more franchise, more franchise of the great. Okay. That's all I ask. Any advice for upcoming artists out there? Uh, any upcoming artists, man. Rapping, R and B, like gospel, whatever, man. Take your time. Make sure everything you do is professional. Like, always try to get a good studio mm -hmm. and invest in yourself, man. Invest in yourself. Make sure that you don't go with the low budget. It's okay to start off, you know what I'm saying, working with your resources that you have because you can't afford it or something like that. But once you get the chance to perfect everything, make sure you get that going. Make sure you perfect everything. Make sure you purchase everything fully. Do everything professional. Learn the music industry. Learn the paperwork. Learn all the laws and everything like that, man. And you're going to flourish for sure, for sure. Get your image out there. Visuals. Make sure you got visuals so people can see you. You make good music, but if your image don't match, I'm telling you, people not going for that. <laughs> That's over with. All right. Now, um, what if somebody wants to reach out to you? Uh, features or how 
Uh, if you want to reach out to me for features personally, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Marshawn McGee, that's my government name. I'm going to change that out the while. Like, I ain't big enough to change that right now, so I'm going to keep it right there. Uh, Instagram, that's T H A T S underscore Mr. underscore franchise with a Z. F R A N C H I Z E. I charge 500 for features, but, you know, we build a relationship. We can get it going. The first one would be 500. We do an EP or something like that. We get. Knock it down lower and lower. I might just like you and say, forget it. You ain't got to pay me, bro. I might be good. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. So, right. Yeah, that's what type of guy I am. So just just contact me, bro. Let me know. You never know. I might just do it just because I see potential in you or, you know, something like that. Cool. So cool. that's good. Cool, beans. Now, um, can we expect for you to be performing at the Fox Cave Chronicles reunion concert Friday, February the 5th? Yes, of course. I'll definitely be there. And I may have, I ain't no telling what I perform, my guy, who I bring with me. I'll be there, definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank so you, just thank you, thank keep you. Keep me posted on the time, sure. date, venue, everything. We there. For Franchise sure. and cool crew will definitely be in the building. Well, you're actually in the venue. It's going to be held here. Say this, man. <laughs> you heard it. So that's Locking where we're going to be in. Right Locked here in. at Designer's Grill is yeah. where it will be held. You going to give us another song before we get out of here? Yeah, I'm going to preview my newest song for the video next week, Bounce Back. So y'all that's watching. Exclusive. Live and Aye. definitely an exclusive. So y'all just... Bear with me, chill, let me do my thing, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't mess with it, don't tell me right now, tell me later. <laughs> Before we get into that, mm -hmm. how's that for me? Okay, go ahead. I want to shout out to all my sponsors. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We love our sponsors. We are coming to the end of the season. The season ends Friday. That will be the last show. We have a very, very, very special guest Friday at 6.30. So y'all make sure y'all tune in for that. The end of season one for the Fox Cave Chronicles. Um, shout out to the Kitchen Angel. Y'all can reach her on Facebook and Instagram at the Kitchen Angel. You can email her at www.thekitchenangel.com for all your catering, meal prep, and personal chef needs. Thank you so much, Sonya Allen. Sending a shout out to Susie Bubbles, Stacy Holmes. Y'all can follow her business page on Facebook at Susie Bubbles and get the best. Handmade all natural soaps and sugar scrubs. So make sure to go on over to Sussy Bubbles and get your bars today. Thank you so much, Stacy. We send in another shout out to Old Shop, James Wrigley and Renee Humes. You can reach them on Facebook and Instagram at Oil Shop. Also, www.oil.shop. Fellas, get your beard oil and ladies, get your scalp oil. Thank you so much, James and Renee. We also want to send out a shout out to RJ Discount Liquors over here at 3188 West Northside Drive. Reggie and Jacqueline Anderson, thank you so much. Y'all go shop with Reggie and stock up on all your favorite wines and spirits. Hey, it's the holiday season, so you better go ahead and stock up early than later. So, thank you so much, Reggie and Jacqueline. Make sure you tell them that Foxy sent you. Also, these delicious treats and more. Harriet Gibson sending a shout out to her. Y'all hit her up for all the most delicious treats your mouth will ever taste. I'm telling you, strawberry crunch apples, uh, chocolate covered pineapples, Rice Krispies. candy plums, candy yeah. grapes. I'm talking about she does it all. She bakes cakes and she does a little catering as well so follow her on facebook and instagram at d's delicious treats and more thank you so much harriet gibson and we have a young sponsor just justice bayless at journey's collection y'all she got the cutest little charm bracelets and lip glosses and hair clips and so much more so follow her on facebook and instagram at journey's collection or you can email her at journey's collection at gmail.com Go ahead and order you something tonight. I mean, she's a young entrepreneur, you all, so let's support our young entrepreneur. She's 18. Oh, yeah. You know definitely. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so definitely, definitely. she been doing her thing. Shout out to her. Also, we want to send a shout out to, did I forget anybody? Sweet Marie. Sweet Marie, luxury bath and body commodities. Mm -hmm. Ebony Jones, <laughs> sending a shout out to her. So y'all follow her on Facebook and Instagram as well at Shop Sweet Marie. 
You can also email her at www.shopsweetmarie.com. Go get some of those goodies she got for your body. Thank you so much, Ebony Jones. Also, we are working on getting the tickets printed up for the Fox Cave Chronicles reunion concert. You will be able to get one for $15 or two for $25. Tickets will only be sold for the month of December. After that, you will have to pay at the door. So go ahead and get your tickets now while you can. Um, we appreciate the love and the support. All donations can be sent to cash app dollar sign F-O-X-X-Y-F-I-T. That's dollar sign Foxy Fit. Send the do those donations in. They go straight to the show. Uh, franchise, we want to thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for I having me. I want to invite you back for season two so I can catch back up with you and definitely. see what you got going Most on. Most definitely. I'll be in attendance. Yes, all right. Shout out to my team. We got Jonathan Hollins on production tonight. Sharita was here earlier, but she had to leave. And shout out to my boy, Rooster Black. He's not here tonight, but y'all yeah, know he's always here. So, hey, it's just like he's here. Shout out to my people over here at Designers Grill for allowing us to have our shows here and the Fox Cave Chronicles reunion concert as well. Thank you so much. We appreciate them. I will see y'all tomorrow at 6 30. Turn me up. <laughs> Thank you. I took a loss, but that's the cost when you live in this life. Gotta bounce back. They kill my dog, you know it's a high for a high. We gon' slap when we bounce back. I can fall off, but I make a call and my nigga make sure that I bounce back. She thinking a draw, but she take a I bend it over and show me that bounce back, yeah. Bounce back, bounce back. Real players know how to bounce back. Bounce back, bounce back. Real hustlers know how to bounce back, yeah. Bounce back, bounce back. Real players know how to bounce back. Bounce back, bounce back. Real hustlers know how to bounce back. Bush nigga ran off a product, now we got a problem, we can't get them pounds back. He think it's dead until it's a lake where them fishes and gators, he found that. I ain't a killer by long shot, but don't get me wrong, I lay low down and stand on my name. Think it's a lick, I'm legit with that blick, I don't miss, better quit if you think it's a game. See, this the shit that they want me on, but if a nigga pop off, then I'm gon' be wrong. Monkey nuts on the cake, call it Donkey Kong. I'm just hoping I blow and it won't be long. I got shit to lose, but I ain't got shit to prove. The bitches in my mentions, I can pick and choose. But ain't no time for love, I got shit to do. The symbols like Tad and you ain't the crew. And that's worth the drink, oh, we was talking business, pouring foes and fagos, trying to stay out the block. With that toast on. Like a woman, they goes. I just wanted pesos. I was on my grind, put my bros in motion, had the front of the line. They ran off when I called them, they phone declined. I see Teddy the day that I'm doing time, and it's worth it. My mama on God, I'ma die by respecting them commas behind all that shit. I've been trauma and drama and llamas. Like Osama, I run with piranhas, but don't fuck with snakes. I don't like anacondas. I take those today and still out of your honors. I stay out my way if you blocking my comma, cause my family look at me like I'm Obama. French is the great. I took a loss, but that's the cost when you live in this life. I gotta bounce back. They kill my dog, you know it's a eye for a eye. We gon' slap when we bounce back. I can fall off, but I make a call and my nigga make sure that I bounce back. She thick in the draws, but she take on my bend it over and show me that bounce back, yeah. Bounce back, bounce back. Real players know how to bounce back. Bounce back, bounce back. Real hustlers know how to bounce back, yeah. Bounce back, bounce back. Real players know how to bounce back. Bounce back, bounce back. Real hustlers know how to bounce back, yeah. Yo, I want to send a shout out to my good people, Catch a Vibe. They will be hosting our red carpet hour for the Fox Cave Chronicles reunion concert. See y'all tomorrow at 6.30.